police declares Namdekano's lawyer wanted over killing of officers. Or an ASND who condemns attack on IPOB's lawyer calls for proof. Police raid on Kano's lawyer's home, Babarik, says BNYL, warns federal government over plots to arrest Nandi Kano. Now the news in details. The Anambra State Command of the Nigerian Police Force has declared Ifanya Jofo, lawyer to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, wanted over the killing of two police officers in the state. Some irate youth in Orifite under Ikusigo local government area of Anambra State on Monday reportedly killed two policemen for allegedly attacking the house of a Jofo. A source in the area has said that in retaliation for the attack on the lawyer's house, used in the community killed the two policemen and burned them at the Nkwa Market area of Aurifite. Commissioner of Police in the state, John Abang, discloses while speaking with journalists in Oka, the capital city of the state, on Tuesday. Reacting to this allegation, Ifanya Jofo, lawyer to the leader of the indigenous people of Beth and Namdikan, spoke out from hiding after he was declared wanted by the Anambra State Police Command on Tuesday. Jofo said he was attacked without provocation and had lost everything since men of the Nigerian police invaded and burned down his house. In a 10-minute video on Wednesday, he explained what transpired and called on the international community and human rights organizations to intervene. Jofo said on Sunday, December 1, 2019, that he was called at about 9 p.m. by the DPU. He never passed any message to him. At about 6 o'clock a.m., he got a call from his elder brother, Evangelist Emeka Ejofo, that police, led by the area commander himself, had invaded his premises. When I came back around 10 o'clock in the morning, I briefly had a discussion with my mother, and I promised him, I told him I was going to see the area commander to find out why they were in my house. So, but on a second thought, I decided to go to see my, my uncle, who will accompany me in that um, movement. So I already left the house to my uncle's place, where I will pick him. And that served as a saving grace to the carnage, to the to disaster, because the target was me. So I was on our way going to the commander's office, taking on my conventional route, when I got a call from my junior brother that the police were in my house and they opened fire on all living objects in my house, including all persons in my house. So I was like, somebody came to your house at about six o'clock. We had a discussion with him on offenses I don't even know about. And I promised him as a lawyer. Well respected, I'm going to be in the office at about 11 o'clock, 10, 10, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Then what's happening, then what's taking place in my house? Took me Police raid on Kano's lawyer's home, Barbaric, says BNYL, warns federal government over plot to arrest Namdi Kano. The Bia Foundation's youth league BNY has described Monday's police raid on the home of Paris Ifanyo Jofo, Lawyer to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPU, Mazi Namdekano, as barbaric and an act of wickedness. Reacting to the incident, national leader of BNY, Prince Uyuchimuze Richard, accused the police of trying to scare Biafran supporters from attending the burial ceremony of Kano's mother. Speaking late Tuesday from Oweri, the Imo state capital, the BNY leader further warned the federal government over the threat to arrest Mazi Namdekano on his return to Nigeria for his mother's burial. He declared that doing so would lead to unrest in the southeast. The BNY leader also reminded the government of the crisis that emanated from Kano's previous arrest, saying the massive protests later turned bloody. He also said that the Biafran crisis contributed 80% of the conflict in the Niger Delta, especially the Bakasi Peninsula, where he has been arrested twice. He said that prov more provocations could lead to rise of militancy. He warned that the federal government would regret any attempt to throw the East into another crisis. Gentlemen of the press, 
My name is Chris Lechu, is a richer national leader of the Biafra Nations in the PNY. On behalf of my two esteemed colleagues, Comrade Bikuta Hogan Kako, Deputy Leader One, other national officers, and entire members of the BNY family. I want to respond to the threats by the Commissioner of Police of the State to arrest Mr. Adnan Bikano of IQB if he returns to Nigeria for his mother's burial. To us, this threat is not serious at this point in time because it can lead to crisis if not well managed. These are clear evidence that we command respect in the Greeks. Let me therefore use the opportunity to warn that any attempt to throw the East into tension, then the government will regret their actions. Ohanez Ndibu condemned police attack on IPOB's lawyer, calls for proof. The President General of Ohanez Ndibu, Chief John Nianwood, has condemned the alleged Monday police attack and burning down of the residence of the indigenous school of Biafra, IPOB lawyer, Ifanye Jofo. To this end, the Apex Igbo Cultural Organization has called for a judicial inquiry into the alleged case of an unprovoked attack on a law-abiding citizen of the country whose only crime is that he peacefully objects to the maltreatment of his people. Chief Ngodo said, Hanez Ndib observed that the spurious claim by the police that Barrister Jofor was involved in a case of abduction, assault, location, harm, and malicious damage to property holds no water, as nobody has mentioned as nobody was mentioned as the victim of the allegations. The Pan Ibo group frowned at the situation where any mere destruction of dissent against the manifest injustice being perpetrated against a particular ethnic group in the country with the merged maximum force by the federal government. And that is all for today on the Afro Broadcasting Service BBS. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook, BBS TV, like our page, and drop your comments. Send us email, service at gmail.com. Thank you. This is BBS News, Biafra Broadcasting Service, Madness of the Biafra People. At the mobile home. Yeah! At the mobile home. Yeah! Ibokwen, yeah. Ibokwen, yeah. Ibokwen zone, eh. Every man come on, eh. Emiedi, aizo, yeah. Aizo, yeah. Is that Kenya? Yeah, yeah.